Hello there and welcome to Tarek Shona. Uh, today I have a question for you. How do you ask questions in Shona? Today I'll share with you the seven Shona ways that are equivalent to these seven interrogative ways that are displayed here. These are the ways that are used to ask open-ended questions. At the end of the video, I'll also share with you how we ask close-ended questions, the ones that have the yes or no answer. So let's go to the W's. The first one we have here is who. In Shona, who is Ani? Ani. And our example we have there, if you want to say, who are you? You say, Ndiwe Ani. Ndiwe Ani. Second one is where. And the Shona word is kupi. Kupi. And if you want to say, where are you from? You say, Unova Kupi. Unova Kupi. When is Rini? Rini. And when did you arrive? You say, Washika Rini. Washika Rini. Which is Ipi or Chipi, depending on the noun class of the noun involved. So, which car did you bring? You say, Wawia Nemota Ipi. Wawuya nemota ipi. What is chi? Chi. If you want to say what is the problem, you say chaneta chi. Or you can alternatively say chi chaneta. Why is say or seiko is the other variation? So if you want to say, why are you here? You, uh, you say, say uripano or seiko uripano. The call there just adds emphasis on, 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 on the question. How is also say or seiko? I will explain the difference uh, when we are doing our summary. So if you want to say, how did you get here? Say washika pano say or seiko. Those are the seven words. And now let's go to closed ended questions. These questions they always end with this word here and it's pronounced here, not here in as in English, it's pronounced here. So if you want to ask someone to say, Have you arrived? you say Washika here. These dots mean that it's always at the end of the question. There are also cases where you don't necessarily have to use this word, but uh, the tone of your voice will indicate that you are asking a question. For example, you can just say Washika. The way I say Washika. Someone will understand that I am asking a question. All right. So the answers are always either yes or no. And there are two words in Shona that say yes. You can say eh or wongo. Eh or wongo. And if your answer is no, no in Shona is kwete or aiwa. Kwete or Aiwa. In conclusion, here's our summary as we always do. We said who is Ani, where is Kupi, when is Rini, which is Ipi or Chipi. These four words, they are always at the end of the question. But it's a bit different with what, which is Chi. You can either put the chi word in the beginning of the sentence or at the end. It, it normally works both ways. 
y is seiko so is how but in most cases when you start with seiko it's a why question and when you end with seiko you are usually asking how on the closed ended questions we said the questions always end with the word re re thank you for watching another episode of torech shona it no nana zvakare muchikamo chinotevera see you in the next installment goodbye